Hey guys, it's December 16th, 2020. I'm so excited that today is our 100th floss tube. Woohoo! Yay! And we hit 20,000 subscribers yesterday. So, yay! So, so happy. We're so excited. We're so honored that you would watch us. And so we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to give away two $100 gift certificates to Fat Quarter Shop. What I would love for you to do is to comment and put um, a comment about what you would like us to be showing in 2021 and any ideas you have for Lily and I. And um, when we pick our winner, we're going to reply to your comments. So you have to make sure to look in YouTube at your comments so that if you won, you're able to see that you won. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. So thanks for taking this ride with us. It's been, um, it's been fun. Mm -hmm. So we're right in the middle of Jolly Housewives. So I was able to really get a little bit further than I had planned. So if I look tired, that would be why. Mm. So I'm going to just show you, I'm not going to show you day by day because I kind of went all over the place. I'm going to show you what I was able to finish and I've only got two things left. So I started with six pieces. I have four finished and within by Friday, I should have them all done. So that's super exciting. So I'll have a little break before Christmas. So the very first one that I'm gonna show you is A Merry Little Christmas by Stitching with the Housewives. Of course, since this is Jolly Housewives, these are all um, Stitching with the Housewives, Jolly Housewives. Sorry, I'm getting all my words confused. So this is what I stitched on. I stitched on Aqua Dyed Effect 14 count and they stitched on dyed and writ dyed and tea dyed fabric. And I actually didn't even finish, I didn't even finish writing down my fourth. So um, I can tell you how long it took by looking The total time it should be on the right okay it took me 15 hours basically so I made a couple of changes in this one I changed the box to be red and the font to be red instead of black and then this line right here was black and I made it red and I didn't make any color changes or anything else that was the only change I made, and I had just a tiny, tiny little strand of bamboo left over at the end, so mm. I probably should have been a little bit more careful about um, my thread because I almost ran out. But this one's gonna be super cute. I'm gonna send it to Priscilla and have her finish it on this same piece. I'm super excited about it. Now you can see when you look at it, theirs is a lot darker than mine, and mine is on Fabric Flare 14 Count Ada. Um, Let's see. I don't think they put, oh yeah, they put Rit dyed and the color they used is Evening Blue Monaco. So if you wanna take um, your fabric and dye it, you would just buy Rit dyed Evening Blue and they used Monaco. So that is one of my finishes. I really like it. Um, I will say the white is a little bit light, but I still think you can read it. So that's my first one. Mm -hmm. My next one, um, I finished, but I kind of cheated. So this is from the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine Winter Edition, and it's Winter Berries, which is on the cover. And when I was working on it, I pulled my pages, oops, sorry. I pulled my pages out, and then I can just put them back in, and um, it'll store nicely. So on this one, you can see that they stitched on Black Monaco, 28 count. And when... I, and I actually meant to finish the whole piece. Like I meant to put this on there. But when I started, I don't know what I was thinking. I started right here. So I didn't account for this last row. So I wouldn't have had room by the time I added it. So I just made a mistake when I started and I just figured, oh, it's okay. I'll just put a bigger bow at the bottom or something. I um, didn't make any, let me see. I don't think I made any changes. The only thing I did different was right here, there are chickens. And so I didn't do chickens. 
and that's the only change I made. So all the colors, everything, I tried to keep it as true as possible, and I'm going to send this one to Priscilla, too. The only thing I'm thinking about is on the little sheep or the lamb. Sorry, guys. I don't know the difference between the two, um, but oh. I didn't know if I should add eyes, like little French knot eyes. So, so that's the only thing that I'm trying to decide before I send it. I believe a lamb is singular and the baby and sheep is plural. But it's the same animal, right? It's the same animal, yes. Yeah, see, I don't know. This is why Kimberly Jolly could never live on a farm because I have no idea. I don't even know what Lily just said, to be honest. I'm so confused. <laughs> um, and on this one, the, the green really has a lot of variegation. And I did do this where um, I used the loop method and I just did rows. And so even with that, I was able to get a lot of variegation. Now, if you look at theirs, theirs probably has a little bit more than mine. So that's my second finish. And on this one, I really wasted because I have this whole big piece. So I, I just really messed up when I started, but that's okay, that happens. I'm also going to ask you to pause real quick. Uh, one thing we forgot to mention, to enter the giveaway, you have to wait for the live stream to be over and then tell us what you want to see from us uh, next year. You're more than welcome to tell us in the live chat right now. We just can't comment on your comment in the live chat to let you know you won. So that's why we have to ask you to wait till afterwards to comment. Yay. So this is trucking along December and I'm totally caught up. So I've got January done. And if you're in the club, the February is shipping soon. So um, once I get February, I'm going to stitch that in either January or February. Um, I think I must have missed something. Uh, Lori Holt said Kimberly the lamb isn't finished yet. And yeah, it's just a little like tip of the head. It's the tip of the head. Okay, which hold Caroline Borden caught, she said, is the top of his head missing? Wait. Oh, the little lamb. The little oh, it is! Ha <laughs> ha! I knew something was wrong up there. I was like, something is not right. It looks like a dog. Okay, I'll fix it. Thanks for telling me. Ooh, good. Okay, so December. This is probably my favorite one so far. And on this one, let's see. I didn't make any changes, actually. The only, well, the only thing I did is I left the little chicken off. And I added a star here. So there's a little chicken and there's a star. And it's so funny because all you guys keep commenting, what's so wrong with chickens? What do you have against chickens? Guys, it's just a chicken. If I don't want the chicken, we don't have to have the chicken. It's okay. Have it for lunch. Oh my gosh, Lily. <laughs> Lily. I'm hungry. Good. Now, if y'all have hate comments, you put Lily's name on it. Oh. I'm just kidding. So, um, this one was really fun. Um, and I didn't put Piggy on this one. Usually in my trucking along, I put Piggy. But I just thought the reindeer looked too cute to leave off. So, um, I finished this one over the weekend. It was a lot of fun. So, that is my third finish. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I left that off. It's typical. My fourth finish is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And let me look at this one and see. This one I didn't make any changes either, except I made his gloves were red and his feet were green. So I made them black just to make it a little bit more traditional. And yep, it's all done. Super excited and... Yeah, I'm excited. Super excited. Now, I've got two left. The two that I have left are here. And you're going to see that this one I worked on last night. This one is Rudolph and Mr. Claus. And... What I started doing today and tomorrow, I want... So today my goal was to do the top of the Rudolph and tomorrow is to do the bottom. But last night I kind of started listening to um, somebody on YouTube and I couldn't stop. So I'm going to go ahead and put the entire blue outfit. Then I will do the white, all the whites, and then I will come back and do all the reds and then the black and everything else. So I might be able to finish today. I doubt it. I do need to come in and add the little back stitches for the scarf, the end of the scarf. I haven't done that yet. Um, but this one is really, oh my gosh, this one is really cute. And his little eyebrows, 
Aww. sometimes I'll leave those off but and a lot of times I will put those on and see if I like them and if I don't like them I'll just take them out so it ended up looking cute but this one I don't know it's just so cute and I'm not gonna put piggy I'm just gonna leave the Santa Claus um, just I don't know the one thing I don't know is I don't know if I'm gonna put mr. Claus I don't know, I might just leave it with no letters. So that's what, I worked on that pretty late last night. Mm -hmm. And you can see I have very little floss left. Um, and I am going to, uh, Denise and I are gonna do a segment in January where we talk about floss and I'll show you kind of what I do with my leftover floss. This is a bag, this bag right here is from Layla May Designs and you can find them on Facebook. This bag is from Dot Dot Goose Designs. This one is up on a housetop, and I did make a lot of changes to this one. And this one I'm hoping to finish on Wednesday. No, today's Wednesday, Friday. Oh my gosh, my bag won't open. I actually... Oh, is it caught? It's caught in my fabric, too. No, it's caught in my Ada fabric. Okay, well, while we figure it out, the difference between a sheep and a lamb, thank you, Sally Merrill. Sally said, sheep is plural and is an adult, and a lamb can be either gender and a baby. Oh. Let's see if I can remember that. Yeah, so sheep is the adult one, okay. and sheep is also the plural. Okay, so this one is ginormous. Oh, my goodness. This one is like, a, I would call this a labor of love. This is... <laughs> intense and if i don't finish it friday i'll finish it on saturday so for my changes i did change some colors so for the windows those were those were supposed to be thinly gold but i changed it to ginger snap the green i used grasshopper no i used steamed broccoli instead of grasshopper and i used ribbon red instead of licorice red and the reason I did that is I had a lot of that left over from other Priscilla and Chelsea patterns and I didn't want to buy anything. So that was my way of just using my leftovers. And I left the holly right here, but there's some holly that was above here and some holly around the door. And I didn't do that. I just left that off. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the bottom because I don't want the chicken, sorry. So I was thinking, um, I'll put my tree over here, put my, my snow, and then I was thinking I might just put the Merry Christmas sign and then put two snowflakes on either side. Because I think that that space is not big enough to put a piggy and then I wouldn't wanna put two piggies because I only have one piggy. So, um, that's kind of my only thing that I got to figure out what I'm going to do right there. And then I'll be done. And then I am going to ship these off to Priscilla. And then I will show all of these again to you once they're finished, probably in late January. And then I'm going to show you now what Jolly Housewives that Priscilla and Chelsea have worked on during this week. So... What is, so this one is uh, Mrs. Claus Cookies right here. And so she finished it and she has Priscilla's plaids on there and some cute little ribbons. And then she also finished Candy Cane Coop. And then this one is Whipping Up Freedom, and this one is brand new. You can buy this PDF today, and oh my gosh, that is so cute. So there's another one. Um, so this is, I think, the third of the Americana, but I think I can sense a lot of people doing a little Americana Christmas mm -hmm. section in their house. And then she started um, Sweet Cup, and this is a free download that is included and the Mrs. Claus cookie PDF, and that's the little dog Piper. Aww. Look how little she is. So cute. And then Chelsea has worked on Mr. Claus, which is a PDF, and then um, she has another one that is the sneak peek of Friday. So their PDF on Friday, I'm assuming it's gonna be a snowman, that's all I've seen, so that's super exciting. 
And then there's one more. This one is Stars and Stripes Delivery, which was loaded last week, and it's also a PDF. And so that is the, one of the three that they've done with the Americana. So super cute. Mm -hmm. So let me know if you'll have questions on any of the Jolly Housewives. All right, let's see. Uh, just to clarify one more time, uh, if you want to enter the giveaway we announced at the beginning, to please wait until after the live stream is over and then comment uh, either on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, and then we will get back to you by replying to your comment. And we had a few super chats that have been coming in from Gail Stale. Gail gave us a super chat for $50 and said, Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. Thank you That's Gail. a lot. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Also, I believe Hanukkah is still happening right now. So happy Hanukkah to everyone who celebrates that. And Stitching with the Housewives uh, gave us a super chat. Sorry, Stitching with the Waves. Oh my goodness. Stitching with the Waves gave us a super chat for $50 saying, just wanted to say a huge thank you. I was the winner of the Cross Stitch Holiday Gift Guide on Jolly Jabber. I love your channels. I am a long time cross stitcher and very new quilter. Your videos are so helpful. Happy holidays from thank Jennifer. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you Jennifer. so much. Apologies for getting the names mixed up. And then, See, it's not just me. <laughs> I just saw stitching with, and my brain just went the rest of the way. And then we had a super chat from Valeria Bauer for nineteen ninety nine, and Valeria put a little dancing pair that says, "You are amazing." Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Valeria. We really appreciate it. And then a super chat from Marianne Lucas for five dollars. Thank you so much, Marianne. Thank you. And we had a comment from CNM Flower saying, congrats on 100th, it's my birthday, and all I want to do is watch my fat quarter shop and try to finish whip. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What are you working on? What's the whip? Tell us, please. And Yvonne Suesmith was asking, oh, I just saw the picture on Instagram where you are sorting DMC. Why are you spreading it all out on a table? Okay, so we're going to do a little segment. Okay, so I bought two... Um, they're like, um, what would you call them? Not they're like little cards, but they have drawers, 10 drawers. Mm. And we bought them both on sale. It was like 30% off. Mm. And well, we bought one and then we realized, okay, there's not enough. So we bought another and we basically bought, I'm going to show you everything we bought. We bought the, every, we bought the containers at Hobby Lobby. We bought the plastic dividers that we're using at Amazon. They fit perfectly. And we're dividing up all of our DMC Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works, NPI, Color and Cotton, Gentle Arts, and NPI. Because what happens is I want to do something and we've got to pick colors or we're doing a club and we need to pick colors or we need to find something and we're constantly like wasting time going everywhere. So this is going to be a set for work that we won't use, we'll just use for color but I'm gonna show you how you can store it. We're gonna do it in January. And I'm also gonna show you what I do at home because at home I just have DMC and I have some um, fancy floss and I'm gonna show you how I, what I do with my leftover fancy floss when I'm done, how I use it at home. But at home I don't need all this floss. Now that would be great, but I don't need it. So at home it's just for color because um, I've already had the DMC for a long time but it's going to be a fun little segment. We might do it as a live stream. We might do it separate. We'll kind of just have to see because it's a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. all right. And by the way, I didn't do any of that work. Denise did it all with Cody. So oh. thank you to them. Because Go Cody I didn't and do Denise. Anything. I did do one little small thing, but that's it. <laughs> all right. And then we had a super chat from Trilby Freeman for $10. And Trilby says, congratulations on you, one, your 100th floss tube and your two, sorry, can't talk today, 20,000 subscribers. You all are the best. Thank you, Trilby. Thank Much you. Much appreciated. Um, and before we move on, could we just repeat the details of the giveaway one more time, please? Okay, so we are going to give away two $100 gift certificates. To enter, you're going to comment after the video ends. And you're going to comment on either YouTube or Facebook and tell Lily and I what you want to see from us in 2021, because that gives us an idea of, I mean, obviously we're going to keep doing what we're doing, but if there's anything else you want to see, um, you know, it just gives us ideas, just like the thread storage, stuff like that. Like what kind of stuff do you want to see? Okay. So I did want to show you this. 
Now, as you, as you know, Priscilla has Priscilla plaids, which this is one of them. And now Henry Glass has made Chelsea's checks. So it's the same exact colors as Priscilla's plaids, except it's a smaller scale. Now these are strike offs that were sent to us to order from. And you, if you watch their videos really closely, you'll see that some stuff has been finished in this already. And you can now pre-order this on Fat Quarter Shop. So you can pre-order a Fat Quarter bundle, a half yard bundle, or a one yard bundle. And if you're interested in yardage, you can just be, you can click to be notified. That will be shipping in um, later next year, like February, March, April, something like that. I can't remember the date, it's on the website. So you can see if you put the red, it's the same exact color, it's just a smaller scale. So it's gonna be the six colors, and I'm super excited about it. It's gonna ship in February, March. So I'm very excited for them, and excited for everybody else who's gonna be able to finish their stuff just like they do. And we have a super chat from Janae Combs for $10. And Janae says, thank you for all you do for the cross stitch community. I can't wait for the NPI silk club to start. Happy holidays. PS. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So I wanted to show you this just released on Monday. Ooh, it's so pretty. trying to make it all fit so this is prim and proper it's a brand new pattern from Lori Holt and we're gonna be doing a sew along so I'm gonna show you all the supplies um, so that you can get everything that you want for when you sew it sew along so this is the pattern it will come out as a PDF you know much later six months but this is the paper pattern the front the back now we have listed exactly, Lori finished this, so we've listed exactly what frame she used from Hobby Lobby, what paint she used, and the fabric. So it's all here, so you get the pattern. So you obviously need the pattern. This is the fabric that was used in the sample. It is Prim 25 Count by Lori Holt. Now, since I declared 2021 as the year of Ada, I'm gonna either stitch it on Venetian Stone by Witchell or this Cosmo that is now sold out, but we'll hopefully have more. And it's all in Japanese, so I can't even tell you the color because I don't know Japanese, so sorry. <laughs> we will have to just figure that out later. It's not in stock anyway, but I'm trying to find something that's Ada that's comparable. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I am going to stitch on Ada. Not sure which fabric. And I'm gonna be using the Prim RF Loss Box. So if you're working on Prim and Proper, no, if you're working on Prim Stitch Series, you've already got the box. You don't have to buy anything. Just use what you have. We will have some DMC packs, but they will be available in like a month. We're going to have a stitch along. It's going to start in March. And here are the dates. Those are going to be the dates when you have it complete. So we're going to do that top row first. And then we're going to do um, the left then we're going to do the center and then the right. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, we kind of divided it up instead of by segments within, we kind of divided it to kind of go in, not so much a circle, but so that you wouldn't get lost on your counts. And um, by then I will decide what fabric that I'm going to use. Um, but I'm just trying to not stitch anything except Ada until then. So this is super exciting. I love it. And this is her prim fabric collection and her red vintage trim. The color that was in Japanese is called noble gray. Okay, good. Thank you. 
Thank you, Ashley. And oh, yes, thank you. I didn't know who told us. And then I have everything in our um, Gingham on the Go bag. And you know, you I have until March, so I really don't have to decide now. And I obviously love the Prim 25 count, but I'm just trying to um, just do Ada. And if I said I'm gonna do it, I have to make myself do it. So it's gonna make, I'm gonna make myself do it. So I wanted to show you something. Now this is something that you might, if you have not received your stitch quarterly and you do not want to surprise, don't turn me off. Just close your eyes or just listen and don't look because I don't want you to be upset. But the reason we want to show this is this is the last live stream of the year because of Christmas and um, New Year's. So this is the only time I have to show you and it would be a it would be a shame to not be able to show you and enjoy it with you. So um, please don't yell at me. Don't tell me I spoiled it. Just don't watch right now if you don't want to see it. So I wanted to show you Stitch Quarterly is a subscription service that we have that's once a quarter. This has shipped out. The pattern will be available in January 18th if you're not in the club. And if you want to be notified when it comes in, um, you just click on it. Now, this is Priscilla's Pretty Plaids right here. This is a frame from Hobby Lobby, and this is our piece. And on the back, we have listed that Priscilla finished it, her fabric, her SKU numbers, and the frame number from Hobby Lobby. So anything you want to be able to make this is on here, including the DMC colors, the fabric, the everything. So I'm going to show you first Priscilla's finish. So the, And this was just the pattern that came in the, in the bag. This is now sold out. The Stitch Quarterly subscription is sold out, but if you are interested in it for the first quarter of 2021, we have a couple of spots. So I would sign up today or tomorrow before they fill up. So this is what Priscilla finished for us. It's so beautiful. In your box, you also got these floss bitties, which are so cute, and I was using them, and then this is how pathetic it is. I had to take all my floss bitties off to not spoil it for the, for the club, and I was so sad. So now, today, I get to put them back on. Yeah, ask Denise how many hours that took me to take it all off because I didn't listen to her. So there are 20 design, there are 20 different floss bitties four designs, five of each. So snowman, Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus, and the reindeer. It's so cute, right? Wow, yeah. So cute. So now that I have displayed it, now I can show it all to you guys and put all my floss back. <laughs> but I did want to let you know, we showed you Priscilla's finish. She has a blog post on this. She's going to be coming out with a blog post on how she finished this. And we filmed this, and this is going to release on December 20th. And this is another way you can finish it. This is a way to make a Letters for Santa. So this is the Ada that we used. So it's ex look how different it looks. It's exactly the same. So you can either frame it, or you can hang this up and have your kids write a letter to Santa with what they want, or you could just put your Christmas cards in it. And I know that, you know, a lot of people don't do Christmas cards now, but um, we get maybe three or four. So it's so cute. I'm very proud of this. And um, this is how it looks. So this video will be coming out December 20th. And again, if you want to join, um, you, can, you can get next year's. Mm -hmm. Or you can just put your little pattern in there. So cute. Oh. So I'll kind of show it to you next to each other. Very cute. Yeah, so cute. So um, thank you for everyone who has sent really nice and positive uh, comments about the Stitch Quarterly. It makes us feel good. And if you now want to not see Stitch Quarterly and you don't want it spoiled, you can turn me back on. Yes. Please. Come back. Please don't turn me off. <laughs> okay. Uh, a couple of questions here from Maria Elena Bleca. Is Cosmo easy on the eyes? Yes, Cosmo is delicious. It's like butter. Uh, Cosmo would be my absolute favorite to stitch with because it does not, 
not up. The only reason I don't use it that often is it's hard to get because it comes from Japan and um, it's also, um, I don't have the full range at home like I do DMC. So with DMC, I only, I don't have enough room to put everything. Actually, I do have room to put everything. I just don't have the time to do it. That's fair. And I'm trying to be reasonable. Yes. How about uh, the Cosmo cloth? Cosmo cloth. Oh, sorry. You're good. This is me answering the wrong question. I haven't um, used it yet, but I, I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. okay. And Deborah Mosley said, will Lori Holt be coming out with Farm Sweet Farm Cross Stitch? Yeah, at some point. It's not on the list for 2021, but it will be at some point. Oh, excellent. And then a couple super chats. Uh, first one from JP Thompson. JP gave us one for $9.99 and says, I am so very thankful for Kimberly Lily and every single Fat Quarter Shop employee. I have learned so much about cross stitch and quilting from y'all. Thank you. Thank you. We try Thank really you. hard. And then we had... My hands are going to fall off. Well, my stitching <laughs> felt like last night, all my feet, all, everything was going to fall off. I was like, I'm stitching so much that I'm going to, yeah, sorry. I was like, why? Because I am telling a joke and y'all don't understand my joke. But it's really not a joke because I have been stitching so much that I'm going to go out of my mind. That's funny. Both me and Denise were, were slow to grasp what was happening. They're, um, they're not with it yet. Um, and we had a... Super chat from Dot Dot Goose Design Denise for a hundred dollars. Oh my goodness! And Denise says, "Happy one hundredth floss tube from me and Miss Gracie." Holiday hugs. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this is her bag in my lap. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is a huge super chat. I yeah, am. Thank you. Beyond words. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Okay. Question from Holly Neal: Would it work to stitch "Merry Little Christmas" by stitching with the housewives on chalkboard black? Okay, she's gonna hand it to me so I can look. I don't know that I've seen anybody do it. Is Priscilla and Chelsea could answer? Let's see. Here it is. So I would think it would work. And since I did the red here instead of the black, I do think it would work. Yeah, I think it would work. And then, you know, if you wanted your, your tires to show up more, you could make them gray or something. And this is black. You could change, you know, the top of the lights. Yeah, I think it'd be cute. Mm -hmm. And from Corey Wood, if you are signed up for Stitch Quarterly for 2020, are you automatically signed up for 2021? Yes. So if you're in Stitch Quarterly, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything. And we, you know, I apologize for showing it like two days early, but I really want to be able to share. And I want you guys to look forward to that little video with the, um, the Santa letters because it's so cute. I mean, it is a little late for this year, but you know. Uh, from Susan Spratling, will there be a box for Lori Holt stitch cards? Yes. And we have, it is very close to being done, um, but obviously it is close to being finalized. It's got to be made and shipped, but yes, and it's cute. Ooh. Okay. From Kathy Cronin, does Kimberly still enjoy the process of stitching when she is under so much pressure to get the project done? Uh, yeah, I do. The one thing that I'm, I wouldn't say stressed is I'm really trying to plan, um, we have big plans for 2021 and I'm a little bit concerned about how much I've bit off you know what I mean like how much I'm doing so what I am working on is planning and I'm gonna spend the last part of December really trying to get ready for 2021 so that I have some stuff pre-ready so that I don't have so much pressure in January but yeah I enjoy stitching I enjoy quilting um, but yeah, no, I still love it. Um, my fingers do, like, I have a callus right here that I'm like, okay, we've got, I'm going to have, I think I'm probably going to have to get some more of those because I lost my little thimbles. Oh. And then I bought more when I was at Lori's and I lost those already. Oh. I know, Lori, I'm sorry. I lose everything. Okay. And then we had a super chat from Lori Roth for $15. And Lori says, congratulations, fact, quarter shop number 100. Thank you. Thank you. I know I can't believe that I get in front of this camera a hundred times. Ooh. I, yeah, I'm just not a people person. And yesterday I will tell you guys that it was like 
the day of me not being a people person. I had, um, I had like a meltdown yesterday and right in front of my nanny and she was like, I mean, she's worked for me for 10 years and she was like, what is wrong? And I was like, what is wrong is I've got all these people in my house. I had a plumber. We had this big, huge water leak. Mm -hmm. And then I had this other stuff and then my kids were acting bad and my nanny's car broke and everything. It was just like all these people. And I was just like, I just like had lost, I just lost it. And she was like, oh my goodness, what's wrong? And I was like, all these kids, they don't listen. Can you control them? Anyway, they weren't even being that bad. They just made me mad because they wouldn't back you. Oh. <laughs> because, anyway, it's a very long, complicated story, but I really, I lost my stuff yesterday. But it was just too much. I mean, a water leak, and then now we're going to have to replace. Um, Kevin was showing me. It's like our water heaters are sitting on this wood, and then it was sitting on, um, what do you call that, drywall? Mm -hmm. So Kevin had to, like, kick the drywall out, and he's like, I'm going to have to replace all this. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, which is fine, but we're not um, carpenters. Kevin and I, we're not good at that. So we're like, I yes, so yesterday I had to pay two vendors. It was like so much money. I was like, oh my goodness, right before Christmas. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we had water everywhere. Wow. We're just hoping that the water didn't travel up the wall, but we'll, we're going to look at it this weekend. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's funny. I had problems with my water heater last week. Yeah. Just... So basically it was a, it was this big long tube. And when he came, he was like, oh, it's $445. I was like, oh my goodness. He was there for a really long time. He rebuilt the whole wire. He took it out. He built a copper wire, and then he put a spout at the top that would help in the future. And I was, mm -hmm. Kevin was like, how's it going to help? I'm like, I don't know. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I just really yesterday I lost it. I was just like, mm -hmm. oh, my goodness, this is my meltdown. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, was just, <laughs> I totally lost it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've also been working on the Christmas block stitch along. So this is Pine Needles, and if you go to the Pine Needles website that we have linked below, she is giving away, she gave away a border pattern, and you could also do these individually and do 25 individual ornaments. The patterns will be free through December 2020, and um, so I've gone through yesterday's, and it's 87 by 87 on the stitches. I'm using 14 count Ada feed sack by Lori. I'm up to day 15. And I'm just using, I, if you want to see the exact colors I'm using, I showed it in last week's live stream. And I've kept everything pretty similar. Some, this is a snow globe and some people put some snow throughout the globe. I didn't. I did notice that I reversed some of the red and pink on accident on some of them. But, um. That's okay. And then the one thing I was going to show, do you have my um, journal? The one thing that I did do is when I started, thank you, um, this is her prep sheet. So I kind of pulled her colors, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to use from, I have a little um, container that I'm going to show you guys that I keep all my floss in. And I really didn't want to have to spend any money. So what I did is I wrote her colors and then my colors. And then that way I just use this as I'm going. And then this has the symbols on it. So I just refer to both because this has the symbols and then this has my conversion. Now, of course, I could put my symbols over here. I just never did. But this is a free pattern. So huge thank you to Sandra Workman who is doing this for us for free. Just remember at the end of the year, it will be removed from her site. We've linked it below. There is also a Facebook group called Christmas Block Stitch Along and you can see what other people are doing. And some people are stitching on really dark fabric. Some are doing light fabric. Some people are adding um, different things. Some people are taking the religious motifs out and putting in um, other things. So it's fun to see what everybody's doing. I am excited that I'm caught up. Each of these only takes me about 30 minutes. So super fun. And it's fun to see what everybody else is doing mm -hmm. too. And on this one, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, how I'm going to finish it. I was thinking of maybe doing a little pillow or something, but I haven't decided yet. Let's see, uh, Justine Woodard had said, uh, since the stitch quarterly frame is out of stock and unavailable, can you tell us the size of the frame that was used for it? 
Okay, so one thing that Priscilla did mention is she was saying that you guys would like to know what she's going to finish stuff on in advance. And because she, she buys stuff from the Hobby Lobby, like, um, holiday section. So, like, there's a spring store or a Christmas yes. store. And, you know, to be honest, when I go in there, I don't even understand where that section is because that's how clueless I am. But um, we'll have to measure it. Do you want to measure it, Denise? Um, well, it might say, oh, 15.75 by 15.75. Yay. Also, spoiler alert if you don't want to see it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, yes, so it says 15.75 by 15.75. So, so Priscilla and I will figure out some kind of way. I'll call her and we'll figure out a way to where maybe next time what she can do is on her channel say it and I watch all hers and then I can just say it on my channel when I see her say it or we can figure something out between the two of us, the three of us with Chelsea four of us with Denise I mean we'll figure something out so that um you guys know what we're doing in the future mm -hmm. we're just kind of um yeah mm -hmm. and honestly I think when you know Pr Priscilla finishes stuff she just buys stuff she likes um I don't think she necessarily knows a hundred percent what she's gonna do with it but I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in so long. I don't even know what's there. I don't even know if they have anything in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From Julius Honorio, question. I am so sorry. How do you wash your finished projects? It's usually dirty and somehow stained once done. Will it ruin the stitches? It won't ruin the stitches, but if you're using fancy floss, and over dyed floss it can bleed so I actually don't ever wash my projects that's why I keep them in a project bag and I just wash my hands before I start um, but I'm sure there's videos out there on how you can wash and there is some soap that you can buy that is called Orvis I believe O-R-V-I-S something like that and we sell it mm -hmm. but it's um, gentle mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't really have a lot of experience in washing, but some people do, some people don't. I'm not experienced in it, so I don't. Mm -hmm. But I do tend to do really small things. You can see that everything I do here is small. Um, so I get a lot done, but I'm doing a lot of really small things. If I was doing these gigantic pieces, that would be totally different. Mm -hmm. From Julia Kolb, I did start my stitch quarterly and love it. The fabric is beautiful. I have a feeling that I will be going that it will be going to my daughter's house when finished. I was thinking a pillow. What do you think? Oh, I think that would be cute. Mm -hmm. And I think like a ruffle would be really cute. Like a red and white ruffle would be cute. Yeah. Really I yeah if my mom sees it she's gonna she came over and she saw all these Christmas quilts I had she's like can I have it can I have it can I have it can I have it and I was like no mom you can't have it Aww. and then I felt bad but I was like she just like came over and I guess she hadn't seen all my Christmas quilts and she just wanted them all and I was like oh my gosh it took me years to do this I can't give them all to you <laughs> it's like oh my goodness mm -hmm. that's funny okay and then we had a super chat from Debbie Abshear for $25. And Debbie says, Merry Christmas, Kimberly and Lily, and all the staff at Fat Quarter Shop. You all are the best. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. That's very sweet of you. So yesterday, um, we were, uh, Denise and I were talking, and we were going to show Parade of Homes today. And so my Parade of Homes is this December, which is Cottage of the Month by Country Cottage Needleworks. And this is on my fireplace at the very top next to my TV. So I thought, you know, I'm just gonna bring the whole thing. So this is just a tray, it's just a little brown tray. But this little Santa Claus I have had for um, 19 years. It is from Una's house, U-N-A. And um, what she does, let's see, she's from Victoria, Texas, and she takes antique quilts. So this is a 1930s quilt, I'm gonna show it to you and she turns them into the dresses for the Santa Claus and she sells them at quilt festival. And so I bought this and this is, I treasure this little Santa Claus and I think it looks really good. And so I thought, you know, I'll just bring it and show it. Um, I don't know if she's still in business, but I've had this for um, either 19 or 20 years and I still have the little tag it says her phone number is 361-575-8138. But um, this is kind of one of those things that Kevin knows. We keep it, and then when we take it out, we don't let our kids touch it. And I'm like, please don't touch my Santa. But it's a, so it's a vintage quilt, and that's what his little um, robe is made out of. 
So I just thought, well, instead of just bringing this, I'll just bring my whole little setup. <laughs> little Santa. I, he's my, I love my Santa. I think my mom bought him for me, too. Huh. I think my mom might have one. Maybe, a, yeah, I think my mom might have bought one, too. Oh, he has this very, like, perceptive look in his eyes, so every, whichever way you turn him, it looks like he's staring into your soul. That's funny. And then the other um, Parade of Homes that we have, this one is done. Ooh. I know. Okay, so it's not going to fit all the way. Cheryl made this. This is Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needlework. So there's 12 pieces each. There's 12. Okay, I'm going to hold it up because you can't see it. Okay. So it's you can see that it's 12 villages stitched on Platinum 32 Lugana by Zweigart. She used the called for colors and she started this in January. So now it's done. So when she frames it, we'll bring it and show it to you. And look at her back. Look at her back looks as good as her front. Wow. Yeah. So this is amazing. So thank you, Cheryl, for stitching this. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And then the other parade of homes is. Ooh. It's called Early Americans. I'm trying to make it fit. It, the designer is Little House Needleworks. She stitched on 18 count Ada that she coffee tea dyed with Country Cottage Needleworks, Country Cottage Classic Color Works. And Terry made this and she created the border design herself. So these are individual patterns and then she put it together and made up her border. It looks great. Mm -hmm. And then one other thing that we have that we've been working on is this new pattern by Teresa Kogut. It's called All the Things. And Cheryl started stitching it. Ooh. She's, I know it's pretty, right? She's stitching on 32 count vintage country mocha Lugana with called for floss, which is Weeks Dye Works and DMC. And um, we are out of the pattern, but we will have more this week and then more next week. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. So pretty and then we have some more finishes I went to the framer yesterday and I picked up Ooh. four things only one of them I can show you so this one is let's talk autumn and the designer is hands-on design I stitched it with the called for DMC I used chalkboard black 14 count and I am going to start the winter, let's talk winter, and I'm gonna be working on that through January. She's gonna have four of these and I'm gonna frame them all in the exact same frame. And that way each season I can replace it on the wall in the same exact spot each time. And um, I picked up some other things that I can't show you, but one thing that I can kind of show you, I'm gonna show you the back. So starting, starting in January, we're going to have a stitch along. It's going to go all year. I'm going to stitch it. Cheryl stitched it. This is Cheryl's piece. And Lily's going to stitch it. And Ooh. Lily's going to stitch it different than us, right? Yes. And I can't show it to you. Yeah, I don't want to show it because if I show, you're going to be able to figure it out. But it doesn't have glass, so it's very light. And um, I picked it up yesterday. And so we're gonna introduce this in January. And so my framer put a little, whatever, a hanger on it mm -hmm. for Cheryl. And I think it looks really good. She hasn't even got to see it yet, but I think it looks really good. I think you're gonna wanna sew along with us. Yes. Um, let me hand it so it doesn't get. <laughs> and then I'll show you some new stuff that came in. This is Floyd and Flurry. Isn't he cute? Mm -hmm. So he looks really similar. So he would be great as he's similar to Mr. Rudolph and Mrs. To Rudolph and Mrs. Claus. Rudolph and Mr. Sorry. Claus. So he's part of, what do they call these? Uh, Sip of the Seasons. And then this is Hello Winter. These are brand new from Stitching with the Housewives. And this is their February truck. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. 
all those love letters. And then I wanted to let you know that I went through and spent hours and hours and hours one night and I went through and I ordered every single Prairie Schooler that is still in print. And I'm just gonna kind of flip through some. So if it is in print, we will now have it. And we're currently putting them online. Not all of them are online. And they're gonna, you're gonna see that some of them are Christmas, some are Halloween, some are just very 1980s. This one's sewing, they're all different. But I wanted to let you know that we will have every single Prairie Schooler going forward that is in print. So you know they take some in print, some out of print. So I think that's super exciting that we're gonna have all of that. And also today is a big day. Today we're doing Countdown to Christmas. So at Back Quarter Shop, we've always done a Countdown to Christmas. So today's deal, 40% off all vintage cloth from Lori Holt. So if you want any vintage cloth from Lori Holt for 2021, buy it today, it's 40% off. Mm -hmm. And we have 30% off all Country Cottage Needleworks patterns. So if you have been, if you wanna sew along anything, like if you're thinking about do you wanna sew along or doing these um, cottages, anything, buy it today. And um, we will not have a live stream on December 23rd or 30th because it's the end of the year and um, we don't ever really do them at the end of the year because that would be really stressful. And I don't even think you guys would watch. I mean, you're with your family. Um, so. Okay, a few questions from Susan McCallan. Would you stitch that on Ada, Santa's Village? Sorry, Santa's Village. Okay, yes, she stitched it on 32 Count Lugana, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that would be equivalent to 16 Count Ada. So yeah. And if you go to their website, they have a page just on Santa's Village. If you go to Country Cottage Needleworks, there's a tab that says Santa's Village, and they have everything listed on um, if you're going to do it as one piece, the stitch count, and then, you know, you can go from there with all that information on their website. Mm -hmm. From Susan Summers, how many stitches between the Santa's Village houses? Um, it's on that website, but let me look and see if I can figure it out. But it is, I think it's probably one. I don't know, we'll have to, it's on their website, it doesn't, I don't know. It looks like she doesn't have any stitches in between, so she could have just added snow. Let me just show you how she did it, so if you wanna see. But it looks like the way that Cheryl did it is, if there was a stitch in between, she added snow to connect it. Mm. So let's see what it says. If you decide to stitch the entire village, I will have a stitch count of 288 by 268. Horizontally, the designs flow into the necks without skipping any stitches. And so when you go this way, you don't skip any st stitches. When you go from row to row vertically, you skip two stitches. And so you can see that that's what Cheryl did. And all of that information is from Country Cottage Needleworks website. Who is the designer? So pretty. From Tanya Wilson, I would like to try stitching on linen. I currently only use 14 count Ada. Would 25 count linen be a good transition piece? Yes, it would be really good because that is equivalent to 12 and a half. So it's going to be bigger. Then like if you started with 28, you're going to be able to see 25 count better, easier. From Faith M. Bo, Kimberly, when we use variegated threads like we sty works, mm -hmm. I think that's what it says, do we complete a full stitch instead of working a row across to give you the variegation? So I'm gonna tell you what, um, what you're supposed to do and then I'm gonna tell you what I do. What you're supposed to do is keep your two strands together so that the dye, so if it's like dark, light, dark, medium, it stays together, you're supposed to keep them together you're supposed to stitch one X at a time to get the most variegation. I don't do any of that. I just pull one strand out, I do the loop method, and I just stitch whichever way, rows, whatever's quickest. Um, and sometimes I have a lot of variegation, sometimes I have none. To me, I could really care less if there's any variegation. To me, it's more about the color. I don't need variegation and I don't have time to like, I can go a lot faster in rows and with the 
the amount of stitching. I probably do 40 hours of stitching a week, including cross stitch quilting and on top of my job and on top of my being a mother. So I have to do what's quickest, but to me, um, it doesn't, like for me, it doesn't matter if I stitch DMC, Classic Color Works, Weeks, General Arts, none of that matters. What matters to me is if I like the colors. So um, the variegation doesn't matter to me at all. Okay. From Tereski, what color Ada would be good for Santa's Village? Lamb's wool. I think lamb's wool would look really good. And from Anne-Marie Mikowski, will you be carrying bigger pieces of 25, 25 count vintage fabric? The biggest piece that we carry is prim, and that one's bigger so that Lori could fit her prim stitch series on it. Um, but it's up to Lori what she comes out with. And we do add from time to time where we buy bolts and cut it down. Um, Okay, from Nancy Marsh, when will the frame for Sampler of the Month be available? No idea. Your guess is as good as ours. We have emailed and emailed and emailed and we don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we had a super chat from Java Girl Stitches for $9.99. And Java Girl says, congratulations on your 100th episode. Thank you for, for all your hard work, kindness, and generosity. You have made the cross -Stitch community such a wonderful place to be part of. Thank cool. you. Thank you so much. And she's got a great YouTube channel where she shows uh, lots of stuff, and she's got a great backdrop. Mm -hmm. Great backdrop. Yeah, she does. Uh, and then... Super chat from Kathy Longo for $19.99. And Kathy says, Thank you, Kimberly and the Fat Quarter Shop team for a wonderful time during 2020. Has made my days brighter and renewed my love of cross stitching. Happy holidays to you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, a couple more questions from Caroline Borden. If I join Stitch Card Club, is December included? If you put a note, you can say, Please include sti Stitch Card F, and we'll include it. G, sorry, G, and we'll include it. If not, you will start with H. Mm -hmm. yes. Sue Sweeney says, on the sale stuff, can we run a tab or do we need to buy each day? Each day. There's no running a tab. Yes. So so like Fig Tree Quilts runs a tab. Um, we, we, just, we used to be able to do that. We just can't anymore. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And from Angela Stoudinger, what color Ada would be good for Lori's latest stitch cards? This is, is this the one? What is this color? Parchment. Parchment. And I stitched mine on malted milk. Yes, malted milk. So this is malted milk 14 count. This is 25 count parchment, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, malted milk's like one of my new favorite colors in Ada. Is that what you're using for next year? I am not. Oh, okay. I, I thought about told, it. She hasn't told me what she's doing. Yes, it, it is a, a cloth by Lori. I will say that. Okay. And then question from Yvonne Suesmith. I bought so many cross-stitch patterns that now I feel totally overwhelmed. Do you have that, Kimberly? Do you ever do feel I? overwhelmed by so many cross-stitch patterns? So I do feel overwhelmed. I try to buy only what I'm going to stitch, and I bought a planner um, and the planner is solely for live streams. It doesn't have birthdays. It doesn't have anything else. It is just every single thing that I need to have done for that Wednesday live stream and Friday live stream. And what it helps me do is I get to write a little check mark off as I do each. Mm -hmm. So it really helps me feel accomplished. So I think having different goals or if you have a lot, you could just plan your whole month and say, I need to do and just give yourself a little bit each day and it will add up and eventually you'll be done. Because think about a month ago, I hadn't started six of those stitching with the housewives patterns, and now all six are done um, because I do just a little bit every day. And um, if you just set goals and kind of divide your days, it will help. And always, you know, like if there's days where you just have like a lot of energy, well, then you can do two days at once and then skip a day. Or, you know what I mean? You can be flexible with it. Or, you know, like if I need a like sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I'm like, okay, good. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get, you know, hot chocolate or iced tea or something sugary. And then that's gonna be my reward. You know what I mean? So sometimes I reward myself with food, which that's not the best thing to do, but that's what I do. It's good in moderation. Um, yeah. I well, I mean, too. yeah, I mean, the tea is 
No calories. Yeah. Okay. And would you have any recommendations for someone who's trying to stay on a budget with cross stitch or trying to be more economical about it? So I would say just stay with DMC. Don't feel like you need to get classic color works or general arts or any of that stuff. Just stay with DMC. And, you know, if you're really on a budget, Joann's has sales where they do too low to show. I mean, I'm advertising for somebody else, but that would be what I would do is just do mm -hmm. the cheapest thread. Mm -hmm. To me, honestly, I don't care what thread I use. As long as it looks good, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And then I would just stick with um, just a cheat like Witchell fabric or um, fabric flare or something just very, um, and if you're gonna do a lot of pieces, you could buy a big piece and cut it up. Like for example, if you were gonna do like say eight Priscilla and Chelsea ornaments or something, you could plan out your fabric and cut it and use one piece to make all of those things. So maybe make multiple things out of one fabric, you know, make the most use out of the fabric. So like at the beginning of the year, I bought a one yard piece of some 28 count wheat, wheat. wheat Lugana. I think it was Wheat Lugana. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, I got to use it up. So I made sure that all of my pieces that I did right then were using that. So try to I try to use the same fabric over and over. And I do save like every scrap. So like when I was showing you that leftover, I probably don't have enough to save a scrap. But anything that I have that's like three or four inches, I'll keep and I just fold it. I try not to waste anything. And then I will show you next year when I do my floss at the very end. When I'm done with my fancy floss, I don't, even if I have like one strand left, I don't throw it away. I combine it onto my previous mm -hmm. fancy flosses and you'll be able to see that when we do our thread video. So like yesterday I spent 15 minutes, it was right before I had my little freak out because I was so mad. Mm -hmm. um, and I combined all my floss. I took the four projects that I just showed you that I finished. I took all of that leftover floss, combined it, and I had a, like 20 tags left over because I combined it. I don't get rid of any of it. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I only use the colors that I like. So you're gonna see when you look through my colors, you're not gonna see purples or, you know, you're not gonna see a bunch of, you know, colors like oranges and crazy greens. I only buy what I use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except for DMC, I have a full set of DMC and that's because my mom bought it for me. Like before Emma was born, I think. Wow. So yeah, so I've had that forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, my two cents on that advice would also be that there's uh, we have like a lot of free patterns that we offer on even just on our website. Mm -hmm. um, and that's also a place like if you just want to get started, um, you know, get your DMC and some cloth and then you can just pick a free pattern and, mm -hmm. and start from there. Um, yeah. And Angela Stoutinger said, how does shadow compare to malted milk? Oh, very different. So malted milk has a yellowy tint. Mm -hmm. Malted milk has a yellowy tint and shadow is not cream, not gray, it's in between. Mm -hmm. So I would say very different. Mm -hmm. So shadow is what I stitched. If you look back at last week's live stream, I, um, for sew by row, I'm using shadow mm -hmm. and I did the left column and um, you can see it there. And malted milk is right here. Mm -hmm. And malted milk has a variegation on it. Mm -hmm. So, like, can you zoom in more? Yeah. It's got a modeled look to it. It's hard to see, but, you know, you can see that it's got some model, modeled look in it, and shadow is just one color. Mm -hmm. And shadow's downstairs, or I would show it to you, but it's all ready. It's all, um, it's far away. Mm -hmm. And I think Denise has run up and down the stairs enough for today. <laughs> She's got She's her steps nice. in. <laughs> she was running up and down the stairs before we started. Mm-hmm. And we had a super chat from Susan Summers for $4.99. And she asked if we could please give a shout out to her stitching sister, Deb Summers. Shout out to Deb Summers. Yes, Deb Summers, shout out. Yay. Okay. And Lillian Bollinger says, do you know which one of Lori's fabrics, fabrics would work for Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks? Bead sack, maybe? Not as one piece. Okay. Mm. Okay, so you need something big enough for one piece. So I would say prim. Can you? Yes. And they're asking about Santa's Village, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put Santa's Village, and then we're going to show prim on top of it because it needs to be big enough. It's in my bag. Okay, it's in my bag, so I'll get my bag. Sorry, we have a million things. 
We're very organized though. So this would be prim and you would have to see if it's big enough. The, the biggest piece, it's 27 by 36. So you would just make sure that it's big enough. I would think that would be though. Mm -hmm. And Kathleen Waldron says, any true crime recommendations? Okay, so I do have some. I just watched Baby Doctor on HBO. It is good, but it is disturbing on ethical grounds. I just watched, oh my goodness. I just watched all the, what did I say I watched last week? I can't even remember what I watched last week. Um, it was really good. Oh, Murder at Middle Beach. Very good. Don't expect an ending. Um, I just watched a lot on HBO. I watched one on Takashi69, who I didn't even know who he was. Mm -hmm. I watched that. Um, it was just okay, because I don't even know who, I still don't really know who he is. Um, YouTube, True Crime, there hasn't really been anything new. Um, and Netflix hasn't really had much but HBO has had some good stuff mm -hmm. yeah I've kind of watched everything oh I, and Nancy Grace's new TV show it comes out on Thursdays and me and um, Lori watch it it's mm -hmm. really good it's called unjustified or justified or anyway I just know it's on the um, oxygen channel Thursday night so on Thursday nights, I'm like, Kevin, you got to pick up Emma because I'm watching Nancy Grace. That's funny. You also watched Heaven's Gate last week. Oh, yeah, Heaven's Gate. Okay, so Heaven's Gate was really good. Okay, so I'm really, like, into cults. Like, I'm, I'm not into cults. Like, I'm not going to join one. But in college, I became fascinated with them. I'll tell you why. When I was in college, I was, like, a junior. And, you know, in college, you have to take, like, an anthropology class or something for your credits. And my brother went to the same college as me and my uncle. Anyway, everybody was like, you've got to take this, this class. It's called Magical magical Cults and Religion or some Magical Something, Something, Something. It's very well known at the university I went to. And um, you've got to take it. It's a really easy A. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll take it. Oh, my gosh. And he was obsessed with Jim Jones from Jonestown. He was absolutely obsessed with him. Like, he would... He did a whole, like, half of the season, half of the, like, semester was just on him. And I was like, oh, this is really interesting. And that was before, I mean, there was cable, but there was no internet. Like, there was no YouTube. There was no nothing. And so I was obsessed with it. And so ever since then, I've really been into cults. And so the Heaven's Gate documentary is good. I would say that based on what I knew about it, there was very little new stuff put out there on it in this documentary because I've seen so much about it, but I still watched it and it was good. It was well done. Um, if you know nothing about it, but for me, I was kind of like, Oh, I was kind of, I was kind of hoping I would find something else out new. So sometimes that's one thing that, um, gets me a little bit is I know so much about the stuff. Sometimes when I watch it, I'm like, Oh, I thought they were gonna have something new, you know? But then again, it's like, okay, what news is going to come out 20 years later? Nothing. That's funny. Also, Ashley said uh, the show with Nancy Grace is Injustice. Injustice. Okay, I knew it had a J. I was like, I was going for that J. It's really good. I love Nancy Grace. I know she can be controversial. I know some people don't love her. Oh, my gosh. I think she's hilarious. I think she's um, she's got an energy about her and a victim advocacy that I love and respect. Sylvia Martinez said, do you have a problem with nightmares? No, never. No. <laughs> but I will tell you that I wear my headphones a lot, and Kevin scares me all the time. And he's like, I live in this house. I'm like, I know, but I, okay, well, I you. put the headphones on because my kids, now that they don't have, they're at school at home, so they can stay up later because they don't have to get up, get in the car. So we, I mean, we're not going to make them go to bed. You know, we're just mm -hmm. like, they can go to bed at 930, and they still have eight hours of sleep. It's fine. Mm -hmm. And so they're just up later, and so I have to put my headphones on. Sometimes even on um, Nancy Grace, I'll watch her on my phone with my headphones so I can hear everything because my kids are so loud that I'm watching it on my phone when I could be watching it on the TV because I can hear it better. It's so bad. Mm -hmm. And Crafting a Planned Life was asking, is the DMC Ada cloth just as good as Zweigart cloth? Um, I would say it is probably not as good, but it's still good. It's very crunchy, but of course I like that crunchy. It's very, um, 
very stiff, but you know, I like that. And Charles Craft is the DMC brand. It's sold in Joann's, sometimes Hobby Lobby, and um, we sell it, and we sell it great. I mean, it sells better than um, sometimes Weigart because people like simple. So guys, I really hope you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Season, Happy Everything, and a Happy New Year. We will be back um, with lots of new stuff next year, and um, we look forward to seeing you in 2021. Yay, bye everyone.